ten past seven. You're on ABC Local Radio Tasmania. I'm Helen Shield. That's Tina Arena and Sorrento Moon. The smell of Tasmania. She's helping capture it. What would you say it is? Lavender? Apples? Hue and pine. Is that what captures it for you? Salty air off Bass Strait, maybe. If you feel like you could bottle what it's like to live in this state and make a fortune off it, here's somebody who's banking on you being right. Some good employment news from Essential Oils Tasmania. The Managing Director, Stephen Gleeson, has just relocate, relocated his family to southern Tasmania, rolling out the first luxury fragrance from the company, which has been making oils here for the last 30 years. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Alan. How are you going? I'm well. Uh, what goes into the smell of Tasmania as you're capturing it? Well, Essential Oils of Tasmania has been growing crops in all over Tasmania. We have 20 farms mm -hmm. that we contract to. We have some that we lease. And we've been growing baronia, lavender, fennel, parsley, and another under, another uh, other lot of uh, crops that we developed, and they'll be going into this tuna arena perfume. Wow! So, how much of a say has she had in what it'll smell like? She's going to have a lot of creative. She's not just the face, like a lot of perfumes you see there. She's going to have a lot of input into the creative direction of the, the fragrance. So, she's working with our perfumers in a place called Grasse in France, which is the home of perfume. So, we've got some master perfumers over there working on this project. And they're going to have our Tasmanian um, crops to turned into perfumes over there and they're going to blend it and we're going to bring back here and make it. So Tina's going to have a lot of input in terms of the creative direction. Obviously she's an ultimate professional and she's a perfectionist so she wants, she's putting her name to this so it's got to be A1. She is the nose of Essential Oils of Tasmania's she, new line. She's the nose, yep. <laughs> Marvellous. Which came first, the plan to get into the European fragrance market or Tina Arena's involvement? So Essential Oils of Tasmania was acquired by a company called Atlas Pearls and Perfumes at the beginning of 2012 and Atlas is a pearl producer and we've always wanted to get into the luxury fragrance industry and so we've made a pearl perfume as well and we're going to be bottling that down here in Tassie um, that's coming from our pearl farms in Indonesia and so we're going to bring the shell down here and we're making uh, fragrances out of the pearl and the business model has always been to export that as a bulk raw material out of Tassie into places like New York and, and France for, to the big perfume houses. So that was the idea first and then we came across Tina and she was just a gift from heaven. So She sings in French, she's, she lives there. She lives in Paris and, and Melbourne so she lives in both. Uh, she's married to a Frenchman, a beautiful man named Vince and uh, yeah she's very French and uh, yeah well accepted in the French community. Which is actually a tough thing for an outsider to do isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. So she left Australia you know this, we had the young talent time story she left Australia some 20 years ago and found a way to, to France and they fell in love with her and she fell in love with, with France so hence the link to the perfume. Yeah nice. On ABC Local Radio Tasmania this is Stephen Gleeson he's the managing director of Essential Oils Tasmania uh, they're bumping things up and making a luxury fragrance which Tina Arena is helping spruik this state and the fragrance to Europe. Now you have been based in Kingston but where about are you moving to? So the company's been in Kingston for 30 years and uh, we've outgrown that, so the company, we're all sitting on top of each other in, in our little offices and all our machines are sitting too close to one another, so um, we've got a lot of, a lot of new uh, what we call stainless steel, so we have a lot of stainless steel in our factory where we make things. Uh, we're going to be moving down to, just down the road to Margate to a farm site, so it's going to be looking over the Derwent, it's, it's a beautiful site, and we'll, we'll put the factory up on top of a hill then and look down over the, over the water. Oh. Yeah, being overcrowded in an office, there's no amount of soothing peppermint oil out of the Fingal Valley that can make that a harmonious experience, really. Uh, now, it's been four weeks since you personally relocated the family to southern Tasmania. What has struck you about life here so far? It's just, I was up in Hamilton today looking at some of our fennel crops, and I have come from Perth, from a big corporate city. Um, used to wear a suit to work, now I wear jeans and yes. a pair of gum boots. Yeah. And I was just feeling today the sun and feeling, isn't this just a fantastic place to bring up my family? So, And it's something of a homecoming for your wife? Yes, uh, the lovely Anne, who uh, was born and bred in Kingston, uh, used to ride a horse on a, uh, a little dirt track called Browns Road in Kingston, which is now where EOT is now located. It's just Get quite out. bizarre. It's bizarre.
Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so she's been in Perth with me for the last 20 years, and when the company asked us if we wanted to come, I think she thought about it for about two seconds. Yeah. And then suddenly your suitcase was on the bed and most of what you owned was getting We sold the into house it. and we're, we're 100% over here. Yeah. Oh, marvellous. And how sick are the kids of hearing stories about riding the horse and growing up in Kingston? Uh, yeah, the kids are looking forward to, I think my little daughter Lauren wants to get a pony. Great. So I don't know if that'll fit in our backyard, Lauren, but <laughs> we'll try. There might be some space at the new... Uh, we can put that essential. down in Margate, yeah, Lauren, so they can go. go there. Yeah. So you're capturing the smell of Tasmania in a way. What yep. does Tasmania smell like to you? The fresh... Uh, it smells like the sea to me, the fresh salt um, uh, winds that come through... Uh, we had snow in our house the other day, yes. so uh, yeah, Mitch and Laura are out there playing in the in the snow, and so there's that that just that freshness, and and that's fantastic place to grow our crops, obviously, and yeah, just the fresh crisp air is what what we might what I've already become to fall in love with this place already. It's just so much better than 45 degree from Perth. Yeah. <laughs> Put three weeks on rain. Oh, so when will you get the first sniff of the finished product? We're looking to launch this worldwide uh, middle of next year. So the program started. Uh, we've got, uh, we've brought out a a French, a young French guy called Nelson Rocher, who's from the Rocher, you might have heard of Rocher Cosmetics. Yeah. Big French billion dollar turnover company. He's come and joined Atlas and he's going to be heading up the project management with this and working with Tina closely. So Nelson's over in Perth doing that but he's going to come down and visit us here in Tassie. So we've started and uh, yeah we need to hit the shelves next year. Great. Mm. It's all, all systems go. It's all systems go. No, I'm, I'm plotting now to drag him in for a chat when he's in town. Oh, Can he's you? a good looker. You might not <laughs> might get a word out, Helen. <laughs> Maybe. Look, I'll try not to gush. If you, if you bring him in, <laughs> I promise that I will man. be as, yeah. as uh, respectable as possible, all right? Yep. Done. Well, all the best with it. Thank you very much. Hopefully see you again soon with your French colleague in we'll tow. We'll bring the perfume back and you can smell it. I don't know how we'll get it across the radio, but we'll work out a way to do that. Uh, that's okay. I'm sure there'll be some, some tasting notes equivalents <laughs> that we can use. Thanks, Helen. They're great. Stephen Gleeson, Managing Director of Essential Oils Tasmania. New Hobart resident, homecoming for Anne, his wife, and uh, all pony donations. Welcome, evidently. You're on 936 ABC Hobart and ABC Northern Tasmania. It's 17 past 7.